All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Mata. Coin of the day, Raven Coin. Can this coin 2x, 5x, maybe even 10x? Let's pull it up in the charts. Let's break this coin down just so we do in the live streams every night. Taking a look at Ravencoin tokenomics. Ravencoin currently has a circulating supply of 10 billion, 4.79 million coins out in supply. If we take the circulating supply times that by the price, that gives the market cap. So right now, the price of Ravencoin is currently just under six cents and the market cap is $600 million. And I always round to keep it simple. So if the price of Ravencoin is six cents and the market cap is $600 million, for you to 2X on that investment and for the price of Ravencoin to hit 12 cents, the market cap would need to be $1.2 billion. 10X, 60 cents, 6 billion, 20X, $1.20, 12 billion, 100x six dollars 60 billion and for you to 1000x on a raven coin investment for the price of raven coin to hit 60 dollars the market cap would need to be 600 million dollars so if we take a look at other big layer one blockchains we can see that ethereum hit 570 million dollars cardano 94 billion solana 80 billion shiba 41 billion so do i think raven coin could hit a 12 billion dollar market cap and 20x from here absolutely the next thing to check out is lunar crush lunar crush tracks cryptocurrencies based off of popularity we can see raven coin is absolutely crushing it price up 41%, social mentions up 111%, engagement up 106%, dominance up 660%, social contributions up 78%, shared links up 38%, spam volume 59%, market cap 43%, price burst BTC 60%, bullish sentiment up 113%, Reddit volume up 87%, market dominance up 22%, volatility up 178%, and news volume media coverage up 70%. So Ravencoin's getting a lot of media attention right now. That's big news. Next set to check out is Masari. Masari makes it really easy for you to track a couple things like metrics so we swing over to the metrics tab we click supply we can see that the exact circulating supply is 10 billion 473 million 290 thousand the liquid supply is 11 billion but right here we're showing an inflation rate of 11.48 percent with a stock to flow of an 8.71 and in 10 years they're going to have 19 billion coins out in supply so over the next 10 years they're going to double their entire circulating supply keep that in mind next i to check out is defi llama defi llama tracks tbl we can see that according to defi Llama, which is normally pretty accurate because it connects directly to the blockchain and their application. So either they have nobody building on top of Ravencoin or their team doesn't have the resources or the ability to get those assets tracked on DeFi Llama. We've seen Kadena, their ecosystem is almost fully integrated and they're a much newer project. So either there's not much building on top of Ravencoin, but definitely something to look into because without ecosystem development, without being able to incentivize people to build on top of your blockchain, there it has no use case. There will be no demand for that underlying asset. Uh, the next study to check out is coin codex coin codex uses machine learning and ai indicators to make price predictions and if i take a look at the price predictions they're calling in the next five days for ravencoin to just break barely under six cents uh one month just under seven cents three months back down to five six months up to 60 cents in one year they're saying 45 cents so if i jump back over to here and we take a look and we say ravencoin at 60 cents you're talking about a six billion dollar market cap i could see that very possible if there's a lot of ecosystem development going on. According to our current Ravencoin price predictions, the value of Ravencoin is predicted to rise by 4.92% and reach a target of just under six cents by September 14th of 2022. According to our technical indicators, the current sentiment is bullish while the fear and greed index is showing extreme fear. Ravencoin recorded 11 out of 30 green days with an average price velocity of 11.49%. We take a look at the overview tab. We can take a look at highlights. It has outperformed 57% of top 100 crypto assets in the last year. It's trading above the 200 day moving average. It has high liquidity based on market cap and it is trading on Binance. Risk analysis says prices down significantly over the past year, down 57%. It has outperformed Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, it's only recorded 11 out of 30 green days. It's down 80% from its all-time high and it has a yearly inflation rate of 8.79%. Now, if we take a look at Ravencoin on the four hour time frame, I mean, it is blowing out of the four hour, but because of the merge and all that hash power shifting over to Ravencoin, uh, this has been quite a popular asset. And I'm not sure if I would really rely as heavily as I normally would as like, I would be normally scaling into shorts right now, no matter what the price of Ravencoin was, just because I was pretty confident actually. Ah, <laughs> actually, I take that back. I am scaling into a Ravencoin short. My entry price now is at 55,000, is at 5,562. So that's my entry price on Ravencoin. Uh, I might add a little bit more to that position if we keep going up on that asset because I'm confident that we're gonna hit a point where it's gonna stall out and the hype from the merge is gonna die down and it's gonna bleed back down because there's just not enough of a demand for the underlying asset, but I could be wrong. But all of the indicators, no matter how great the asset is, all of the indicators are telling all of the bots to short it right now. So 
I will be expecting some type of pullback. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Who cares? You know, <laughs> won't be the first time I'm wrong. But if we take a look on the charts, we can see a few areas of like key resistance. You have a major area of resistance here at seven cents. Uh, I would say that you broke through this barrier of resistance that you previously had at five cents you now broke above it most likely it's probably going to come down and find support there at five and a half cents or it's going to come back down to about four two and probably try to reconfirm support down here but until the merge is complete until all that hash power is left ethereum until we're really sure where all these miners are going to find a new home at i wouldn't really put Ravencoin out of the race from coming back upwards of like seven give or take so based off of elliott wave and fib levels uh next target up is going to be calling for seven cents following target 10 cents and then following target level 5 15 cents now do i think ravencoin is going to be able to make it all the way back up to 15 cents right now i'm not so sure but with the eth merge i could easily see between 7 and 10 cents if i'm saying you know right around 10 cents you're talking about a billion dollar market cap and i think that's very realistic for the next couple of weeks we're gonna have to see how this big crash is gonna play out so do me a favor guys drop a comment below let me know what blockchain do you guys think is gonna get the most hash power from ethereum do you think it's gonna be flux ergo or ravencoin love you guys can't wait to see you guys in the live stream tomorrow night again my name is ryan matta if you guys want to check out my new trading strategy chilling all that garbage peace